Hello, this is Matthew with PraiseCharts.com, here with a Reason Tutorial video. Today I'd like to talk about loops. Now this will be part one of a four-part series on loops. And while loops are pretty simple by nature, there's just a lot of great tricks that I've learned through the use of loops that I'd like to share with you over the next few videos. So today let's just scratch the surface and learn how to set a loop and how to get a loop to play back for you. Here's a song I just finished for Praise Charts, More Than Amazing by Lincoln Brewster. And if you've downloaded and opened a Reason session, it's going to look very similar to this. Um, down here, we're gonna, you're going to see our sequencer window, and that's where we're going to work today. Um, at the top of our, these are all of our note lanes and um, all of our tracks. And at the top of our note lanes is our timeline. And it always stays put, as you see, as we scroll through. Um, it never moves and in our timeline is our bar line indicators and our counts per measure very simple and if you've played back a reason session you've seen our cursor here that follows along shows us a, exactly where we're at in a song what bar we're at what count we're on and uh, it's just a nice visual aid um, I'm just dragging it right now so we don't hear the audio but let's put that over here and um, I'd like to talk about three other markers that can be found up here in our timeline. They're always up here, and those are the left loop marker, the right loop marker, and the ending marker. Now the ending marker is marked with an E for end, and that's where it belongs, at the end of our song. So we'll send it back there. And let's talk about the left and right loop markers. Now where did those come from? How did I bring those into our field of view? Well, to demonstrate that, let me get rid of them and send them back to where they came from. Um, there's several, way, several ways to uh, set your loop markers. Um, the easiest way, but the longest way, is to go find them by scrolling down your sequence or track here and finding them and grabbing them one at a time and dragging them back to where you wanted them. Um, but as you can see, this takes way too long there's got to be a better way so I'll bring that right back to there well instead of doing that I'm gonna use a keyboard shortcut and bring the right loop marker right over here and the, what I do here is um, if you hold down option and click your left loop marker is gonna snap to wherever you're pointing so that's option click and then right next to option on a Mac keyboard is command so command click is gonna snap that right to where you're pointing. No matter where you're at in the song, where those, how far away those are, it's going to immediately snap to where you click. And the snap function I talk about is right here at the top of our window, sequencer window, is the snap function. And snap can be turned on. It's, it's on right now. But you can turn it off if you'd like, and you can set these anywhere. They don't, it doesn't just snap. Um, but uh, for the most part, you're going to want to use Snap and, and use the convenience of it to just to line things up and keep things uh, accurate. And then I have it snapping right now to quarter notes because that's what I have set up here. But you can change that increment to any value from bar lines all the way down to 164th notes. So that's our Snap function. Very handy. And now we, here we are. This is our intro. And we've set our loop. And we're ready to play back our loop except for one more step, just turn loop on, which can be found down here in our transport panel by clicking loop and click it again to turn it off, or simple keyboard shortcut, hit the L, we'll, turn, we'll also turn loop on and off. So L for loop, S for snap, doesn't get any easier than that. So real quickly, let's play back this loop and see if it uh, acts how we expect it to. So there we have it. As you saw, the, as the cursor approach, approached the right loop marker and touched the right loop marker, it immediately will snap back to the left loop marker. And that happens right in time. There's no skip. There's no uh, pause. There's no blank spot. It's just really nice and seamless. 
And um, there we have it. We set a loop and we got it to play back for us. Um, couldn't be simpler. I hope you learned something here today and I hope you're having a lot of fun with the recent sessions from praisecharts.com. <laughs>